Hello everybody, happy New Year's Eve. I'm going to make a quick video um, uh, talking about the people we lost this year, unfortunately. It's a long list. It's, um, it's, it's sad. <clears throat> but I hope you guys are having a, um, a good time with your family. Uh, uh, surrounded by family and friends, uh, please stay safe tonight. Um, I'm gonna go down the list uh, really quick and have a quick conversation about uh, some of these folks. Uh, let me see who is up. <clears throat> Just going down the list of the the videos. Um, and uh, we had Blake, 21-year-old uh, <clears throat> Blake. Gosh, I met him, what, five months ago, I believe, six months ago. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, uh, but um, he passed away. Um, condolences to his family and friends. Um, uh, that was a tough one, right? Um, we got we got to know Blake well, try to help him a lot, uh, and uh, I firmly believe that the Lost in Phoenix family was able to prolong um, his life um, by showing him love and compassion and letting him know that he was that he mattered in this world. Uh, then. Um, go down the list it's a long list of people unfortunately so sad uh, manual um, manual I interviewed him five months ago that was my first time meeting him. Um, he said in the interview that he was 24. In reality, he was 18 years old. Um, this young man lost his life a couple days after I, I talked to him. Uh, this was uh, confirmed by his sister. My condolences to Manuel's family and friends. 18 years old, uh, he never really got a chance to live life, unfortunately. So, um, that's uh, tragic indeed. Go down the list. Uh, Gabby. Gabby, I've ha I had known her for, gosh, two years. Um, and... Uh, she ended up passing away May 19th. Uh, very sad indeed. Um, an, another tragic loss. You know, they're, they're just young, so young, these, these folks. And um, they, they really don't give themselves a, a chance to, to live life, right? So, um So my condolences to uh, Gabby, um, Gabby's family, friends, um, and uh, rest in peace. Go down the list. Uh, Candy, I interviewed Candy and uh, I ended up receiving a notification from her brother that sadly she passed away as well. Um, so my condolences to Candy's family and friends. Uh, rest in peace, Candy. We'll go down the list. Rest in peace to Diana. Diana was 23 when I interviewed her Eight months ago, she was in recovery. She's doing better. I live with my mom. 
and uh, sadly, I was notified by her 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 friends and family uh, that she uh, lost her life tragically. So, my condolences to her family and friends. Uh, may she rest in peace. We'll go down the list. Uh, Mona, uh, 23 years old, um, two children. Uh, I first interviewed her about 11 months ago, uh, but we just got notification. Uh, was it the last, the end of November, early December, that uh, her life was taken from her? Uh, in a hotel, um, I don't know all the details behind it, but they ended up catching the the perpetrator. So uh, my condolences to Mona's family and friends, her her two children. Uh, it's, it's just tragic all the way around. We'll go down the list, and we have John. John was a, a veteran, a homeless veteran in a wheelchair out in the street. Uh, he had cancer. Um, I later ended up finding out that he was living out there in the street with his wife. Um, he didn't. He didn't tell me, but uh, the people in the neighborhood were telling me that he was consuming blues to deal with the pain of the cancer uh, that he had. So um, he ended up losing his life. So I interviewed him here um, at the, in January, I believe, of, uh, th of this year, 2022. And a week later, I, I went by to go look for him and um, I was notified by his wife that she she woke up, but he didn't. So um, my condolences uh, to um, his family and friends. Uh, I've been a, I've been notified by a couple people that uh, his wife, um, I think April. Uh, also lost her life, but I can't confirm that, so I'll I'll keep digging and I'll let you guys know uh, if what I uncover. Uh, then we have Louis. Uh, Louis um, lost his life uh, as advised by his family. Um, the the coroner, the police, the coroner's office ended up notifying them that he. Um, he'd lost his life behind a building somewhere. Um, so he seemed like a really gentle guy. I would see him often out in the street. Um, really, it was a really nice, respectful guy when I talked to him. And um, unfortunately, he, he lost his life. So um, my condolences to Louis and to Louis's family and friends. We'll go down the list. We have Sonia. Sonia stated that she was uh, homeless for f uh, five years. So um, I ended up being notified by her sister the, um, probably a few months after I interviewed her that she ended up uh, losing her life. My uh, Condolences and sympathies go to the family and friends uh, of Sonia. May she rest in peace. Go down the list. And
Cat. I was just made, um, I was made aware that Cat lost her life uh, in the past month. Um, her family notified me that she ended up losing her life. Uh, the coroner, she had no identification. Uh, she was at the coroner's office um, for two weeks without being able, they couldn't identify her until they notified family. Family notified me. Uh, uh, my condolences to Kat's family and friends. May she rest in peace. Um, and that's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like 10 people in 2022, unfortunately. Uh, and they add, they their names get added to the previous folks. Um, Who did I have? It was a uh, cruise. Do you guys remember? 22 year old cruise. Um, really nice young man. I bought him chicken. He was hungry, so I went to go buy him some chicken for you know cruise. And uh, probably a couple months after that, after that, I met him. He was. Um, I was notified by his family that he was no longer with us. He lost his uh, his battle with addiction. So um, my uh, deepest condolences to the family and friends of Cruz. I'm trying to find his. There he is, right here. So Cruz, June twenty second of two thousand one. Um, I remember he <clears throat> he told me he was body, battling uh, diabetes and um, other health issues. His voice sounded really really bad. Um, he sounded like a older gentleman. Uh, uh, he didn't look healthy at all. Uh, he struggled to walk. Uh, he was just struggling. He was very ill when I met him, and the only thing I could do is is offer him food. Uh, he was hungry. He ate the chicken, um, and um, and sadly he lost his life. Twenty two years old, and uh, let me see the the first person that we lost ever was Seth Lewis. which is this young man, 27 years old, Seth, was out there struggling on the streets for years. Uh, he ended up losing his life. His um, ex fiance uh, notified me of that uh, two years ago. So um, it's a long list. <clears throat> it's about 12 people that I know of, I've been made aware of. Um, uh, it's, it's those are the ones I know of. I statistically, there's more out of all the other, <clears throat> excuse me, hundreds of people I've interviewed. There's there's more statistics. Statistically speaking, uh, I just haven't been made aware of. Nobody's notified me. The family might not even know. Um, uh, so of all these hundreds of people, unfortunately, there's others that are because you know, the majority, the great majority of the people that I talk to, a lot of them I don't, I never see again, right? But you guys will ask me, is there an update? Have you seen this person? And I'll say no. Families ask me, have you seen my son? You talked to my son a year ago. Have you seen him? And I'm saying, say I, I haven't. I'm sorry. Uh, you might want to call the police, the hospitals, the morgues. Uh, um, and that's just sad, you know, um, so that's why these videos are important because it kind of catalogs faces and names, uh, families get to see their loved ones. You know, a lot of these people aren't from Arizona. Uh, they're from different States and their loved ones, you know, come on here to look specifically for their loved one because they haven't seen them in years. <clears throat> they just know they're in Phoenix and they're battling addiction. So they come onto, um, these type of, uh, channels to uh, basically search for their their loved ones um so um 
So, um, you know, it's sad to report on the loss of life so needlessly and tragic. Uh, but again, it's a, it's a battle out there every single day. And um, it's very important to, um, to, um, to have conversations with these folks and let them know that they matter, they're important, they, can, they should continue to fight and, and, and defeat uh, um, their addiction and give themselves a chance to, to live life. Uh, regrettably, we have a long list of people that, you know, at, especially at a young age, you know, 18-year-old Manuel, 21-year-old Blake, 23-year-old Mona, 23-year-old Diana, 22-year-old Gabby, they're just, those folks are really, really young. And, uh, you know, how many people from this list, you know, I, I saw Ariel uh, last week. I saw Martin two weeks ago. Uh, so some of them I do see on the streets, right? It's just for whatever reason, they don't want to talk or they're busy. Um, but uh, how many of these will make it, right? Will get dropped off at treatment centers, like the way I dropped off. And then Adam, Cookie, uh, Jay, uh, I've dropped off people at treatment centers to give them a, a, a fighting chance, right, uh, to, to defeat this. So, um, so, uh, so I just wanted to uh, make a video um, uh, trying to honor the memory of these folks. Uh, we got to know them a little bit uh, in my conversations with them. And um, unfortunately, the this, the list of people that I, I just mentioned that, that they're no longer with us. But we will um, remember them, memorialize uh, their life, and 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 um, hopefully their story hits a chord with somebody out there, and uh, a young person will decide not to try uh, blues or any other substance uh, in the hopes of living a long, fruitful life and um, not going down the path of addiction and misery and, and potentially losing your life. So um, happy new year to you, your family. Uh, please stay safe and, um, and uh, we'll talk very soon, okay? We'll talk next year.